I also like that the game didn't forget that healers exist in this universe. Well, I'm assuming from Alphano's expression that he was not successful. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk to Wukumat. No, Papa can't die. He can't. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, MS curator. Uh, the timing for how long we usually stream was about perfect. Uh, yeah, it was actually very well timed out by John. Okay. But... All right. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. All right. I want to walk outside. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to stand around here and make, make predictions and jokes around our, Papa. Our airships just hanging out. Yeah, I'm curious about that, too. That would be cool if they kind of... You know, even if they lost the electric effect, if they added them to the horizon. Yeah. Oh, yep. They're out there. There they are. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Nice touch. We got sad trail music playing. Sad trail. <laughs> well, come on in and sit yourself down, partners. We got ourselves an MSQ in to get to. That's right. I believe the technical term is a hootenary. A big old a hootenary. Nope, that's nope, not. Nope, that's not how you say it. I was thinking about. Nope. I was thinking about. S still wrong. First done there, chosen done, shout his paw. Paw yeet his last paw. <laughs> paw yeet his last paw. <laughs> that's what got you thank goodness that's what, thank goodness that's these characters aren't real that's inappropriate i love it i love it that's a wonderful that's <laughs> wonderful a real twofer no just a one fur the other head was dead it's a, it's a, yeah we call him that's why he's a dead head it was a, buy one get one free but it was not giddy up and not the Umau kind. I mean, we haven't confirmed that he's dead yet, but I'm pretty, pretty sure he's dead. He was heaving. He was, uh, you know, there was some, there was some motion. I don't trust myself anymore, though, because I was just like, oh, I'm so glad they killed Kent and Rom. And that, that, that useless. Dude, he was just freaking standing. <laughs> he was just he's standing just, there. <laughs> he's just there like, hey, folks. I, I know we weren't there for the murder, so we wouldn't know. But as the viewer of the story it's just kind of like what how did the you... viewer of the story i'm very freaking confused how'd you get there are you well oh my god what happened why have him do the slash like you just have him punch or hit him with the bunch of the... yeah like, we we've literally seen that character hit another character with a non-lethal attack like he 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 hit um, yeah he did Gul or uh bakul jaja with the butt yeah he his, did the butt the sword. Yeah, yeah like it just i just i got uh this is absolutely I want you I want to I want you all to understand I don't actually think it's that important I don't actually think it's that big of a deal no but it's the no, kind it's of not. thing that does bother me and I'm in a position where I have someone else to talk to about it <laughs> and so I'm gonna talk about it and uh and it bothers me it is some <laughs> low tier bother dumb but it is it funny. is it's the, it yeah, is it's... funny hey everyone welcome to the clips channel did you know this isn't our main channel? But yet you should subscribe over and find our main videos and our streams as well. We also have a podcast that you can find wherever podcasts can be found. So explore the internet. See you there. Go take a photo op in the Slipes chair. But yeah, no, he's he's currently breathing. Like, look at one of the heads is still going. Oh, well, it's because we're going to have a dying dad yeah, scene. No, so 100%. Final traumatizing words yes. onto his children. Kent and Rom just sitting there without even a little cut in his back. <laughs> Didn't even change clothes. I got stabbed and it just knocked me unconscious. It was a lovely nap. I needed it. Could be glamoured though. Then it wouldn't need to be damaged. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's talk to Wook Lamont. Wook Lamont. No time for tears. No time for tears. That is a that is a that is a depressing sounding James Bond movie. Uh, you ready for a countdown? Is that what you're waiting for? I'm assuming so. I'm assuming. Three, two, one, go. Nope. Nope. Okay. How could this happen? <laughs> oh they really, really need to <laughs> that, that was, start redacting quests. They did that, right? Wasn't sounds. there times they'd cut the music for certain quests in Endwalker? Yeah. What? 
I'm gonna pause to make sure we sync. Oh, oh okay. Captain, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Father, please, you can't give up. Are you there, a oh friend? I'm right here. I'm right here. Look after my children. What? I'm an old fossil like you. I've only got so many years left. But if that's what you want, it would be an honor. You and I must go on another journey together someday. Hi, you can count on it. Please, Father, you must save your strength. Our flesh may wither and die, but so long as we are remembered, we are never truly gone. Through you, my hopes survive. Through you, I live on. So do not mourn me. Walk tall and see your nation to a brighter future. I repeat, the quest accepted music was really inappropriate. <laughs> really, really out of touch there. <sighs> <sighs> Though I do always like a good uh, 
there is still one great journey to go speech or a memories as long as there are memories of me I'll still be around speech and he hit both of them oh yeah yeah. similar boat for me hey mister I'd like to click on all the characters before we go into a cutscene yes did they address why Kenton Ron was just sitting there like a weirdo with his back turned no, well, he was mourning. No, no, no one really mentioned it, but I think he was just kind of, you know, it was his old adventuring buddy. He was just kind of being stoic is how I saw it. Okay. I didn't think it was weird at all. Also, you know, he's a very large papa, and so you can't interact with him in a decent way. So... It's just- Hands, uh, all hands on the dying dead. Yeah, you know, like if, if, let's say, you know, hypothetically, you were in a deathbed, you know, you're of my similar size, so I could grasp your arm, or I could even, you know, like touch the side of your head or something like that. But if you were five times bigger than you are right now, I might just sit next to you. <laughs> like, I don't know. I wouldn't know how to properly interact in that regard, so... And he seems like, you know, kind of a a stoic manly type. So I was taking it as like a, a winded moment.